In this video, I'm going to be reviewing Ask AI or I Ask AI. I Ask AI is an advanced free AI search engine that enables users to ask AI questions and receive instant, accurate, and factual answers without ever storing your data. You might be asking, why would I use Ask AI when, when Google is also free and incorporating AI? According to I Ask AI, for decades, search engines have relied on a type of technology known as reverse index lookup. This type of technology is similar to looking at words in the back of a book, finding the page numbers and locations of those words. So without further ado, let's go ahead and explore the browser. First things first, we have our typical search bar here, and then we can navigate between different sort of filters, kind of like what you can do in Google, just slightly different. You can reset your filter settings and that will clear the bar. You can also access your microphone and talk directly into an app, which will then populate the search. And then if we scroll down, we can see the most popular search questions and then examples of questions as well. If you want to read up more on I Ask AI, browse to the bottom and you'll be able to find all of the information. Let's start off with question. And what we'll do, we'll also compare this with Google to see which format we prefer. So the first question is how to teach a dog to sit. We'll go ahead and do ask and lightning fast. It's actually writing the AI answer for us. First, it's showing us some sponsored posts. So that's not much different to Google. But what is different is it's highlighting certain words. You can listen to the audio of this answer and even copy it. And now what it's done is it's taken probably the best answers from websites and it turned it into a easy to understand response with references of where it found the information. Then if we scroll down, it also gives us organic results, which is similar to what Google would do. And that's really it. So inside Google, we're gonna ask it the same question. And Google's given us a clear snippet of information, which whilst it's not step-by-step, -step, like what Ask AI has shown us, this is actually a lot more focused and direct response. What it's actually done is gone into the top forming website and found the actual answer to the question. Whereas this is giving us a full guide, this is giving us a straight snippet of what to do. Then it gives us some more related questions, videos, and organic results. Now, if we try the same question, but we'll do search and do I ask. And once again, it's given us a direct AI response. If we do academic, the answers are changing slightly and the tone of each answer is changing according to the filter that we are searching in, but it's not drastically different. Even here, the credible references, which is still good, it's still handy to have this all in one so far it's not enough to actually make me change browser let's try books and just in case you're not following what's actually happening right now it's taking its responses from books when we select the books filter when we select the academic filter it's taking its responses from academic papers etc let's try forums the forums feature is actually quite nifty this is quite good what it's done is gone to each forum and given some information it would have been nice if it gives us the exact thread but Overall, it's still decent. So what do I think of iask.ai? Personally, I think you can probably get all of the same information by going to ChatGPT, toggling real-time data, and you'll have the same results. The only difference is this search browser is free, where with ChatGPT, you'd have to pay. It'll be nice to see some configuration with iask.ai in terms of how long each answer is, because sometimes you don't really want to be reading tons and tons of text. So if you compare that to Google, where Google will give you a direct snippet answer and then the website link to go read more that is actually a bit more useful especially when you're just looking for a quick answer i think the design of iask.ai is quite retro it doesn't feel very polished but ultimately it does its job it's fast and it's free i recommend go try it out see what your thoughts are and decide if it's a search engine for you thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time